Partnership Initiative and the Public Diplomacy Section have funded more than two dozen projects promoting women's political, economic, and social empowerment throughout Lebanon. The transition towards full democracy includes attaining equality and political representation. The process is neither quick nor easy, but your project is bringing Lebanon one step closer through training campaign managers. By enhancing their skills and voices, Lebanon will gain a new class of advocates who cross regional, confessional, and gender barriers. In recent seminars, when these 41 women and men from throughout Lebanon learned, developed side-by-side -side networking and sharing perspectives and gaining um, from each other's experiences, you moved one step closer. The struggle to increase women's political participation in life is one that, in public life is one that we all share. The first woman to be elected to the U.S. Congress, Jeanette Rankin, was elected in 1917 before American women had the right to vote. Since that time, women have slowly increased their representation in Congress. In 1992, five women were elected to the U.S. Senate in what was dubbed the Year of the Woman, making the total number seven in the Senate out of 100, and 55 overall in Congress. Although this achievement was seen as a shot in the arm 20 years ago, it seems small in comparison to the 98 women holding seats in Congress today, representing 22% of all congressional seats. It is well known that while Lebanon has some of the best educated and skilled women in the Middle East, only 3% of parliamentary seats are held by women. This percentage is far less than the number of women parliamentarians in Morocco, and we believe it's time for that number to change. I commend the SMART Center for its vision in creating this project, making change a reality. They have recognized the attainment of a true republic is not achieved individually, but through the work of people coming together and demanding together that their voices be heard. Naturally, the political candidate will lead the campaign and stand in the spotlight, yet she will only succeed in sharing her message and reaching the public if she has a strong team to support her. Yet his or her skills are not limited to one job. Though this project was geared towards uh, campaign managers, the training will transfer over into all sectors of society. Participants will be able to advocate for women's representation working with lobbyists, NGOs, and activists. Whether at the municipal or parliamentary level, these participants will increase women's voices in the political process and lead to a stronger, more stable, more democratic, and representative Lebanon. The US government remains a steadfast proponent of women's rights, and we stand beside the Lebanese people as they advocate for change. We encourage the Lebanese government to accord women full and equal rights and opportunities. We urge the Lebanese parliament to, to pass a comprehensive domestic violence law to help protect women and families. And we also call for the equal treatment under the law, including the right of women to pass nationality to their children. And maybe one day, not far away, we will be congratulating you or the candidate for which you worked uh, on passing legislation that reflects the value of women in Lebanese society. Congratulations on the work that you have undertaken so far, and I wish you great success in the future.